Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Try TV. We just left our hotel and we are walking back over to the watershed aquarium hop on hop off bus area. And we're gonna go to the aquarium. It turns out that the, I think it's called the Minstrel Festival on January 2nd. But anyway, the New Year's celebration um, that's taking place today doesn't happen until tonight late at night even though people are already gathering so we're gonna wait and go down there later on after dinner probably in a nap after the check-in of the ship yeah so we're gonna go to the aquarium to oceans aquarium and then we're gonna check in at the ship we are checked out at the hotel had a wonderful experience there highly recommend and then we'll make our way to the festival sometime tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And let's go. So here is the Two Ocean Aquarium. Okay. Aquarium. So we're going to go buy our tickets and get in. Alright, so here are the ticket prices. We just walked in. Jason's getting our tickets now. And then we'll proceed into the building. Alright, so you present your tickets here. Here's a copy bar to the right. I'm mean, sorry, to the left. And here's the entrance to the aquarium. Alright, so we just redeemed our tickets and we got stamps. We got stamps. This can't is really see yeah, it. No, I guess it's, I guess it's going dark. <laughs> yeah. You kind of see it. This is back in and out. So, yeah, you start out with the uh, store. Little gift shop here. Try to get you. And then, <laughs> yeah, right right off the bat, immediately. Some hand sanitizer, and then we're coming on in. Yay, my favorite! Jellyfish and octopi. I love them. I had a jellyfish tank, but man, it's actually very hard to, uh, at least for me, it was very high maintenance. You've got to really watch the uh, salinity and pH level and everything to make sure the environment is perfect for them. But this is beautiful. Whoa, look at that. So this is a John Dory. So known as a Zeus Faber. It's crazy looking. It's interesting, the, the dye on the side. Turn to the side, friend, so I can see. Yeah, see that? He's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> looking at that dot on the side of your body. Very interesting. Holy smokes, look at this thing. It has like a billion little legs. Where's its head? Is the head right there? Whoa, that is nuts. It's a worm. Look at that. So these are sandy anemone. What do you want to So many colors, I love it. It's your spiny starfish. We have a breakdown of its anatomy. Hey guys, there's a lot of you in there. So this is the comb jelly. That's wild looking. It's very small, actually. 
and zoom out so you can see it. It's very small. Oh, this is adorable. Hello, friend. Okay, there's another. All right, so this is the blue blubber jelly. Oh, hello, friend. They're cute. Come here. They literally have little brains in the back of them. Hello, they're all clustered. Holy smokes. Just turn around. Just go turn around. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I love jellyfish. So this is like, this is fun for me. You're just so high maintenance and I don't want to hurt you. So you can't have a jellyfish tank. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at that. With the music in the background? Oh well. my gosh. So yes. Cool. This is awesome. All the mirrors are over. Makes it like yeah. Like ten Tanks in it. There's probably three. I think with three. It's beautiful though. You stand wow, back that so is a can see this, this is a massive tank, by the way, you guys. Massive it's tank. An, it's an entire room. There's a turtle up there too. A sea turtle. All right, now let's go in and look at. So let's see. We got stingrays. We got. Where's the turtle? It's a. It flew by. It's up there. It her swam by. Oh, he, it flew by. It's over there. He's right, he's right there. Turtle. Look at these, look at these wild ones right here. Look. In your face. That's a big dude. Stingray. Hi, friend. So cool. Hi, friend. Hi. You're so pretty as yes, you are. They look fuzzy, right? It's almost like they're fuzzy. They are? I don't know if they are, but they just look really fuzzy. No, I, I touched one before. Oh, they are fuzzy. I remember it being kind of soft and... There's another one. Hi, friend. I think at the at the end there it tells you what, what animal or what fish are yeah. in here. There's a odd looking guy. Alright, so in this large room, they have um, a concession stand over there where they're selling snacks. And they also have, behind me, they have the bathrooms. So there's two bathrooms um, in case you need to take a break. And now we're going to continue over here down this cool looking tunnel. To the ocean exhibits. See that? To the ocean exhibits. Whoa, this is cool. Holy smokes. Awesome. It's really big. It's hard to catch the full scale of the place. It disconnects to that other tank that we were looking in. So it's very cool. You get a different vantage point. <laughs> There aren't as many fish coming this way. All right, so now we're looking at the now we're looking at the devil fish, false stone and ragus scorpion fish. Oh, there's two of them. Venomous or poisonous or venomous? Apparently, there's a difference. There's a sea urchin. Mm. That looks like a starfish. What are you? Yeah, they're right down here as well. Oh, this one's pretty. Hello, friend. All right, so here's our different types of fish. Got this guy. This guy. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Yeah. It looks like a rock. It really it looks like a rock fish. Which one is this one? False stone fish. Oh, that's what it is. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I think it is. Man, that starfish is really pretty. It is. Very, very bright. Bright. No touching. No touching. Hello, little baby.
Little baby stingways, yes. And then over here we have skates and rays, that's what that was. And these are southern mullets. And I think we're making our way. Oh, there's more to see. I think we go upstairs from here. This is the touch pool. This is the touch pool exhibit. Oh, look at some touch in here. Art. Very pretty. All right, touch pool. It's like kelp. Oh, yeah, this is like kelp, yeah. Kelp and seaweed. Kelp, 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 kelp. This one is called kelp. Kind of looks like a cow tongue. Wow. That's very obvious. Aww, look at the baby. She can discover. Aww, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, Children's Play Center. Yeah, Children's Play Center. The babies can go in here. There's a little play area for them. Cool. And then more to see. Oh, the penguins! My uh, cousin was telling me to make sure I saw the penguins while I was here, so let's go check. This way to the penguins. Penguins! So we're heading in. Penguins, where are you guys? I think I heard them. I heard something. There oh, they there are. we go. Smells like birds. Oh, that was a recording. <laughs> it was them. No, it's a recording. They're so adorable. African These are penguins. African penguins. And this is their tank. Their rocky shore. Very That's interesting. Cool. And here they are. It smells like birds. And melting penguins. Melting penguins. Go through an exchange of feathers, basically. Ah. You see, they're like, he was like cleaning them up with his feet. Did you see that? Aww. That was adorable. Did you see how they jump? That was so cute. cute. They just... They look, they do look very different though from the penguins that you see like on, on shows and stuff like that. Oh, well, they're small for one. These guys are... Oh, from okay. a chick. Downy chick. Blue. Juvenile. Juvenile. He's a rapper. Hey guys. Oh. This one's He's staring. Watching. He's just looking at you. Staring me down. I know. Look what you doing. <laughs> They're adorable. Yeah, they get pretty close too. I know, actually. Let me zoom out so you can see. So I'm standing right here. Yeah. There's this little river thing, and he's like right there chilling. And this guy's like mean mugging me. I know, he's been looking at you all the entire time. I'm sorry, we're gonna go now. <laughs> so you come in over there, and then you walk around this way. They also have frogs. I, I like peace and quiet. Please don't tap the glass. Hello, friend. She's flooding there. Hello, friend. Common, common platana, just hanging out. Feels nice in here though, it's cooler. It's not like air conditioned cool, but it's cooler. I can feel the AC. Oh, there's a small fish. Oh, it's a big fish. Lower river. around this way to see some more some more plant and fish life. There was one more penguin type that we missed. Please don't flash photography. Hello friend. He looks like a grumpy old man. He does. Oh, there's, I think there's only two in here. 
There's three. Oh, there's, there's another one. Oh, okay. Three, three, three. One, two, three. Hello, friend. Hello, sir. Sir? It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. This guy. And there's one sleeping over there. There he goes. Making his way downtown. Their hair is wild. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're like building a little nest thing. Maybe someone's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Giving birth soon, maybe. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what he was picking up. Very cool. Alright, so we passed by the kelp and we're heading into Shark Valley. Let's see. Is this the same tank as before? Yeah, it is. This is a different view. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Hello, friend. He's got a friend, too. Somebody's yeah. stealing him. I think it's like uh, they do, like, not pair bonding, but like they help each other out. Like, the little fish eats, like, the little tiny parasite says that's on him. Mm -hmm. So it's like a symbiotic relationship they have. Cool. I do love the music though. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. You see him? He's just, just doing slaps. Uh, it's two. Oh, so, it's two. Yeah, so oh, there's good. one. There's another guy over there. Ooh, the one in the back is bigger too. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. Let's come up and get close up. Look at him. Tiny one. Oh, there's three actually. There's a third one right there. Oh, hey. That's wild. You can see the teeth and everything, right? Yeah. And you got that big, big, that's a big one. Hey. You gotta come down to get him. He's swimming low. Oh, yeah. He's massive. <laughs> Wow, it's so aggressive I'm trying looking. to get the teeth. I know, the teeth are nuts. Oh. Hey, friend, I got gotcha. you. Look at them teeth. Holy smokes, it's like a Jaws movie. <laughs> All right, I was trying to walk and capture him. So we're in a tunnel. We're in another tunnel here. On the other side of that tank. We were standing over there originally. So it's a good opportunity. Where? Right down there. Oh, here he is. All right. Hi. Dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> All right, guys. So the shark tank was it. Um, you exit out, and it brings you back to the front where you've got the gift shop. And the first little display here, the bootlegger coffee shop, and that's where we came in initially. So that's the whole aquarium. That's where we're heading. So, going now to try to get checked in for our our sweets. All right, so we are making our way to the cruise terminal. Um, for some reason, the area where we should have been able to be dropped off was blocked off by cones, so we gotta hike it out, but I think that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I see buses down there. They're probably dropping off passengers that they picked up from the airport. Um, I don't know, whatever. Anywho, we're here, so we're gonna make our way inside and see if we can get checked in. We just we're following the sign, so Legion Jade this away. Hello. <laughs> and I don't know. I think we go upstairs, maybe. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. So we proceed upstairs. Oh, 
Jason Strugman. Jason struggling with our luggage. Okay. So I'm just gonna follow this older couple. This older couple here. I shouldn't say elderly. That's not easy. And I guess we go through here. So downstairs area that we just came through. We'll go this way. Oh, okay. I see them over there. And it says this way to check in, just up ahead. A little confusing, but there are signs. All right, and then here we are. All right, all right. Okay, so we're gonna jump in line. And it seems to be relatively short still. Okay, so we just got checked in. It was a very easy, quick process. And I am heading this way to the, it says this way to the ship. So I think we're going this way to the ship. Can we proceed to the ship if we're checked in? Hi, have you checked in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you okay. can go back down the escalators and then down to right over here. It's a door. Oh, perfect. All right, thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for Jason for the last one. Alright, you good? Yeah. Alright. So yeah, that was very quick. Like literally, um, you ticked a paper list, yes or no, whether or not you're vaccinated. They didn't need to see your card. You gave them your passports. They checked their computer system, gave us our cards um, for the ship, to board the ship, and then we were pretty the straight. We got no, thank you. I'm not going to take any photos just yet. Yeah, I'm okay. Cool. All right, so he said go back down the escalator, and then we can board the ship. So this is awesome. Follow us. Okay, so there's a little line down here, and then you enter over there. So we're just going to the end of the line here so that we can board the ship. So we were standing in the queue to get on the ship. This is where you go in, and it turns out that you can only carry on um, carry on, carry on yeah. luggage. Yeah. So if you have big check bags, big bags, you have to check them over here. So we just went over to that table and checked our two bags, and now we're going back in to get back in line to get back on the ship or to get on the ship for the first time. So we're already checked in. We just need to jump in line to get on the get on the boat. So we're gonna go to the back of the line and do that again. <laughs> Hey guys, so after you come through that line, you're going to pass through a security section and come around the corner and then you can board the ship. So we're just following this around and here we go. Alright, there we go. There's our Norwegian cruise ship there. That's the Jade. The Jade. Norwegian yeah, Norwegian Jade. Jade. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a big one. Everyone's so nice here. Freaking love South Africa. Everyone's so nice. All right, there we go. Norwegian Jade. So, wow. It's a short ramp. Every other, I think, terminal I've ever been on you board from like the second floor and there's like a an indoor kind of skyway before you <laughs> before you make your way <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now we're going up the ramp hello thank you <laughs> all right so that must be for crew and this is for passengers so we're gonna show our little key card up here and get on board. All right, so we just came through there, showed our little key cards, got on board. We were handed this little slip, slip of paper. Thank you, Jason. Welcome aboard, Norwegian Jade. Come on, focus. Due to Sola, all guests are required to attend their safety stations at any time. 
between the time you board the ship up until 30 minutes. Mandatory procedure where you receive information. Kindly proceed once you have boarded so you can have your key card scanned. Okay, so let's go do that. We're on deck 10. So, what's our, oh, it's on the key card. On the key card, it should tell us where our muster station is. Um, H6. Ours is H. So, we're going to go to deck 6. Deck 6? Aft. Yeah. You are on deck 6? Yeah. Deck 6. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, we're going to take the stairs up. There we go. Six. And we are going to the we're midship stairs. We need to go aft to the Grand Pacific. We're going here. So let's see. I need a map of the ship because I don't know how to get to aft. Let's ask this gentleman right here and see. We're leaving six, we're heading up to seven because there is a dining hall in the middle of six and they don't want you passing through there. So we're gonna walk um, down seven to get to, excuse me, to get to the Grand Pacific main dining room, which is that way. Hi. All right, so she confirmed that I'm right, that I read the key card right. So if you look on your key card in bar, bottom right hand corner, it tells you where your little assembly station is. So ours is the Grand Pacific, pursuant to this paper. So we're gonna walk there, and they're gonna walk us through the safety instructions, and then check us in. And then Jason, if you're interested in upgrade, we should come back to guest services, which is right there. Cool, this is the muster <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. This is the modern day muster procedure. They don't drag you out to the deck cool. and preach to you for five minutes anymore. Cool. So this is the um, photography. Pho yeah, the photo gallery. Cool. So when they take all those pictures of you, oh, you they here. stick them in the, one of these binders. These binders are assigned to you for the duration of the trip. You can come here and pull them up and edit them and nice. look so at them. Make them into these yeah, of order mugs or wall hangings or whatever you want. All right. I don't think we can pass through here. H2 over there. Oh, here they are. This is where we get checked in. Okay, that was quick. They literally just scanned the cards and said, in case of an emergency, come back to the spot, which is basically the entrance to the trade winds right there, is, or the elevators and the stairway. So that's where we would meet yep. if something were to happen. So now we're heading back this way. Going to and the room. You want, did you want to go to the room or check out guest services? Because there's no line right yeah, now. Right, right. So you better talk to them while you can because you know it's going to get crazy. Go. All right. So we're back here at um, this is restaurant reservation. And this is guest services and onboard credit as well. And we're going to look into, um, and oh, over here are shore excursions. So usually this gets kind of crazy later on, so we're just checking to see if there's any opportunity to upgrade. All right, so again, this is the seventh floor, the middle of the, towards the aft of the ship. Um, we are heading to our room now, which is 10130. Picked up an excursion sheet, um, just so I could check that out to see if there were any other options that we might want to be interested in. And then we're going to see if we can take an elevator to the 10th floor, and maybe our rooms are ready. Yes, and I'll start. And here's a quick shot of the floors. What time does it go? Uh, well, um, right now. All right, so we're on the 10th floor. The doors were closed. I just opened it. But Jason opened it. Yep. So 10130 is going to be this way. I don't know if the room's ready. We'll find out. But we'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> mm 
Mm -hmm. Be nosy and see the rooms. So this is an inside room with two beds. Some bathrooms here, two beds. Oh. Little storage. Oh, yeah, there's no window. There's no window, so that's an inside room. Inside cabin. You can be a little nosy. Here's a balcony. Ours will sure probably look like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to see if there are other. Hello. Hello. Hi, how's it going? And Your here cabin we... is not yet ready, madame. Oh, okay. No okay. worries. Yes. <laughs> what cabin number? This is this one? one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's not yet finished because we're just uh, running for just cleaning. If you need some some bags to put it uh, down. Yeah, can we just, just put our bags down? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Jason, go. Okay, so our room wasn't ready, but we met our, um, some more, I think, inside rooms there. We met um, our room steward, so she's really sweet. Um, so she advised us to go to deck 12, where we will, I think this is how I get out? No, it's not how I get out. How do we get to the elevators? Like that. <laughs> oh, how did you do it? I pushed down. Oh. Like the arrow indicated. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Reading is fundamental. <laughs> so we're going to go to deck 12. She said down for and get food or some food and snacks and hang out. Um, I guess for the next 30 give minutes. Give her an hour, yeah. yeah, and then come back. Cool. We should be good to go. All right. So, all right, guys. We'll see you up there. So we're going in the garden cafe. We just came out the Escalate elevator, Lord. Elevator, garden cafe. And we're gonna, I guess, pick up some snacks. I'm not really hungry. We had a really big breakfast at the um, hotel before we left the portway. But whatever. So we got a bar here, juice, soda, wine, milk. Tea, coffee, etc. Dining areas over here. And let's see what they got. So there's some more drinks. That's desserts. We'll start with the hot entrees. And grab my little plate. Oh. Oh. I didn't cut it. Guys, so we just left the uh, buffet from over there, and this is my spread. I got a hot dog and Indian food, and this is passion fruit something. So, yeah, I'm gonna snack on this, and we're gonna hang out here for an hour. We would go through the excursions information, and then we'll go see if our room is available. Food's really good. This is our view. Look at those mountains. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so we've been hanging out in the dining area and we're just going to finish walking this floor, ice cream station, um, to see what else is up here on the 12th floor before we explore other levels. We did confirm that the Minstrel Festival does start as early as 11 a.m. It's currently around 1. So, we're gonna... Hello, how are you? Okay, so there's more sandwiches and things out here than there were inside. Soups. Different. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little different. It's, it's a little, little different, but it's mostly the same. All right, so that's basically it. I think that's it for the whole ship. So, is there, is there a door? Yeah, there. There's no, there's, door on that side. There is. Oh, there is. Yeah. You can go around. Okay. See the rear. Oh, here's a, here's a bar. Get a beautiful view of the mountain. Yeah, this is the rear, right? The rear, rear. Yeah. Back of the boat. I think that's Asamara. I saw them boarding um, when we were... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I saw them boarding signs for Asamara as we were 
uh, coming through the cruise terminal to get on our ship. Uh, so there's some steps here. I wonder if this goes anywhere cool. Maybe deck 13. Called it. It's the Azamara Journey. Called it. Isn't it pretty? It is. Nice. Uh, I, no, it's not. No, it's, no? it's not. Oh, oh, it is. It is. It says something bunk bunkering in progress. Okay, so there's a little string there blocking us. Let me squeeze through here. Oh. And we'll head back inside and see uh, if there's anything else to check out. This is the buffet area at the rear of the of the ship with their seating. And then you head back in here. You don't head back in here. This is not opening. I guess it's an opening. Yeah, I guess we have to walk around. Okay, actually, um, the waiter opened the doors for us. So I think this is Cucina. 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 Oh, Cucina. Oh. I think this nice. is the Italian oh. restaurant, if I remember correctly. So, you come back and come on out through here. Yes. La Cucina, the Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah, you called it. You called yeah, it. all right. So that's it for Jack 12. That's all of Jack 12. Wow. Where's the pool? I think it's on the I think it's on the other side. We didn't oh, go to the other side. Oh, oh. Do you want to go to the other side? Sure, let's go check it out. All right. Let's do a yeah. Circle. So I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. We're missing stuff. Okay, so you gotta come this way. Because you can't go all the way through the Italian restaurant. Let's go through the garden cafe all the way down. So we'll go back through here. Let's just go. Alright, so we just walked through the garden cafe. And we're coming out on the other side here. And we're gonna walk. Oh, oh, Splash Academy for the kids is over there, and Entourage Teen Lounge and the Video Arcade are over there on the other side, and it says, cool. is this outside to get to it, so let's go. Let's wave your hand. Ah, uh, found it. Station A, Starter Center, located on deck 6 and 7 boards. Alright. Station B, Bliss Lounge, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck 7 boards. Station C, Jasmine Garden, located on deck there's the pool. See people are already out there. Let's Friends get upstairs the and then take a tour there. Sure. All right, so we just came to the end and came up the stairs. You've got a bar right here. And here's an angle of the pool. And the hot tubs. Hot tubs. Stage. And then the dining, the top ciders bar grill is over there. So this is deck 13. So if we head upstairs, we will access the sun deck. I'll forego that. It's yeah, hot. Yeah, it's hot. Um, if we keep going this way, that is the Spinnaker Lounge and Chapel. And if we head back that way, um, that'll be the Pit Stop Bar, which is right here. This bar area right here. Um, jogging Track, Mojito Bar. Ooh. Oh, Moderna is on this level. So is Cagney's and then the Sports Jack and Sports Court. Alright, so that's it for Deck 13. So we were just uh, down there. We just walked this way. The jogging track, I think, is this line runs this way. We're going in these doors right here. Uh, here's the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar on the right. This is still in the... level 13 all over the Here's Cagney's. And then the elevators. Do you want to check out the mojito bar? Sure. Sure, we can go be nosy. Let's go be nosy. It should be closed, but let's see. So 
Very pretty. Oh, very nice. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we're back in our room. She just confirmed that it is done. And then we have a little sign here that says this room has been cleaned and sanitized. Sweet. So let's go in and see what we got. I'm going to put the card in. And does that work? Nope. I don't have any lights. There you go. They just turned off. They're coming uh -oh. slowly. There They're coming go. slowly. Okay. So here we have storage. Just when you come in the door, we've got a safe closet space here. Okay. Life vests and such, and we've got our, our uh, bathrobes. Gosh, I couldn't remember the name for them to save my life. And our little cups here. Temperature set to neutral. Here's our bathroom. So we've got toilet and its own little closet over here. That's nice. And then over here you have the shower. So pretty good, you know, little space here. You stand in for the shower. Hard like glass sliding doors as opposed to a curtain. It's kind of nice. That's that. So let me bring you around here and we'll sh show you the rest of our room. We've got a king size bed here, little tiny nightstands on either, no, on one side. Let's say either side, on one side. Um, our bags that we dropped off earlier. We've got a little sofa here. Um, looks like it might pull out to a bed. Mm, let's check. Not that we'll need it to. Yeah. No, it's just a uh, maybe actually. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it does. Yeah. All right, and then we've got our TV. Fifty inch. Tiny, tiny, tiny t desk. For a computer. Mm -hmm. With plugs and such, and then a little stool for you to sit on, and then here's our balcony. Thank you, Jason. So we got two chairs and a table, and here's our view. Of the porch. Mountains. And here we go. So they're busy restocking down below. A lot of activity going on. But yeah, Jason and I observed that this is uh, a smaller ship compared to the Epic. Epic. Yeah, it, um, it feels smaller. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's as many people on the ship either. Could be because we're docked overnight. So people aren't rushing because they know that they could technically check in tomorrow yeah, if they wanted yeah, yeah. to and still, you know, be fine. So, yeah, that's it. So this is our room. This is what we've got going on so far. So she's cute. She's really cute. I appreciate it. Well, as Jason was mentioning before on the Epic, the bathroom was at the door and split. So what was on the right? Here. Shower. Shower on the right, and then the sink, sink the... and toilet were on the left. Yes. The sink was open air, so it was basically in the room, and only the toilet was in its own little closet. And then the shower, it was literally like you step out of the room into the shower. Yeah, give... So you had to put your towel on the floor, on the carpet, right here at the door. We yeah, did give that not... video a watch so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah, we did not that like epic. that. Did not like that. Hated that. So I like having a bathroom where everything's in there. So yeah, this is our room. So Jason and I are going to saddle up and head out to the minstrel festival. Um, we're gonna take an Uber as close as we can get. <laughs> and we'll take, we'll, we'll go from there. Here we have some information. So they left, um, our onboard credit certificates are here, Jason. Cool. He was asking me about that. As well as our shore excursion, shore excursion tickets. So you can see we've got this all squared away for all of the uh, trips that we've booked. And then, like I said, we've got information about day one here um, and everything that they've got going on on the ship. There shouldn't be too much. I mean, there shouldn't be too much. 
as you can see for tomorrow, there are a couple of shore excursions in Cape Town, but yeah, there's not that much going on. So, yeah, here we go. It's a little itinerary here. They've got some socials, some cocktails, um, basically introductions to various programs on the ship, like the fitness um, classes, the teen and um, children's areas, etc. Um, they should start playing music and such in the afternoon. And then we've got a welcome aboard dance party. I don't know, based on the demographics of what we've seen on the boat so far, I'm not expecting too much. <laughs> too much. There, I say that to say that most of the people seem to be older, maybe over the age of uh, 65, just by glancing around so far. Um, that said, they could be getting down. We'll see. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to head downtown so we can see some of the parade. Hi, right, so the um, room stewards just came by and dropped off our water, um, which I think is included with the premium drink package, which we have. So there's the fridge is right here. It's a very small little fridge set up kind of high. Zoom out in the little closet area by the front door. So I'm going to dump some of these in here so that they will be cold for our consumption. And we can enjoy them later on. So one other thing, um, they just made an announcement on the PA system out in the hallway that the estate rooms are ready. It's about... It's 125 right now. I think we got in here around 115. That's pretty good. We didn't really have to wait that long up in the um, on the 12th floor for our room to be ready. It was a pretty quick turnaround. I think we were up there like an hour or so. So very pleased with that because there have been instances where I've gotten on a ship and we had to wait like three hours for our room. So yay. So far, everything has been really, really quick with the check-in process. So we'll see also how long it takes for them to drop off the bags that they forced us to check. All right. All right, guys, I'm just hanging out on these cool benches. We are outside of the Maker's Market over here at the cruise terminal. And we are catching an Uber to the festival. We're going to try and get as close as we can possibly get, um, given all of the road closures. So, we'll see. All right, so we are as close as we could get. He dropped us off on this corner, and we are now walking up the street. It's a couple of blocks, I think, and then we'll be on Darling Street, and you can see the parade's already going on down there. So we're gonna get closer, see if we can get you some footage. But yeah, it's already crowded. There's a lot of people in, in the area. And roads are mostly blocked off. Are you getting started? Maybe not. It was like a teaser. Alright baby, let's keep walking. So we're walking now, trying to get to a good spot where we can watch the parade. Oh my gosh, music sounds good. I love live bands.
Jason that they spaced the groups out so that they, the music from one group won't overlap with the sound from the next. So that group is going, and then there will be another one coming soon. They're already lining up back there in the peak. I don't know if you can see them. Um, and they're just waiting for the other group to get far enough down the road that their sounds won't overlap. Trying to get the baby. You just stick the one. Yeah, it's hard. My views. My views getting blocked. I need the baby to come forward. Oh, oh, look at him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get him. This way. Oh, oh my gosh, you better work. Yes. You better get it. So pace yourself. I don't want to see no babies passing out.
Hey guys, so we are back at the ship. My guy's gone. We got a different dude here. He's over here prepping in the phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're about to get on the ship. It was too hot. That's what we were And yeah, we 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 could we stayed as long as we could, but I was starting to get dizzy, so we had to leave. So we're gonna get back on the ship, and then we're gonna check some stuff out. Hey guys, so we are back on the ship. We are actually in the main dining room here, which is much smaller than the Epic, if you've uh, seen that video. Um, if you haven't, check that out. So, this room definitely smaller and empty. We've noticed in general that the ship seems to be quite empty today. So it could be that folks are just waiting till tomorrow. Right. Yeah. They're just in town because we don't depart till tomorrow at three. Right. At three. <laughs> so here's the menu for today. I'm just gonna show you very quickly what we've got going on. And this side. I'm not that hungry, so we'll see. Play it by ear. And we'll be back shortly with our orders. Hey guys, so Jason, you got the what? Smoke lobster ravioli. It's pretty good. Seaweed, salty, because you know, it's weed. Seaweed. And I got the crab and cream cheese one time, and they're really good. So I highly recommend trying this also. The salmon, arugula, and a bit of quinoa. It smells tasty. Then you have the, the shrimp scalp, the scampi. Look at that thing. Can't wait to dig in. Right, and they also brought us some warm, warm bread. Alright, so we're gonna dig in. The desserts. This is like our all time favorite. It's pretty consistently good every single time. They have a cafecito. Yeah. So the salmon was a little dry. Otherwise, it was good. Jason said his shrimp dish was amazing. The shrimp was great. Very, very. Whatever um, ingredients you put on top of it, amazing. Yeah, he really the, the garlic butter um, noodles. Excellent. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to order dessert. We'll be right back. Okay, and here we have dessert. You got the blueberry cheesecake. Yeah. No sugar. Uh, no added sugar. That's no added right. sugar. And the... Uh, this is all the sugar here. <laughs> chocolate lava cake. It's nice and warm, too. The strawberry compote. So, all right, we're gonna have our desserts and head back to the room. Yeah. Hey guys, so this is the end of um, the day. I'm going to do a quick recap, a quick recap while I show you the mountains in the background. So, first of all, um, we got up, had breakfast, checked out of our hotel, which is the Portswood, um, and we went to the aquarium. Aquarium is literally like across the street from the Portswood. So that was a very quick walk. And then from there, um, we went back to the hotel. Actually, we went to V&A Marketplace and got some mobile tea first because mobile tea is only $3 here. So um, grabbed mobile tea, uh, went um, back to Portswood, checked out of our hotel and everything collected our, our bags. Sorry, we'd already checked out. We left our bags there, though, while we went and explored the aquarium. So we picked up our bags, and then we caught um, a cab, an Uber, basically, over to um, the cruise terminal at v &A Waterfront. Um, it's only about a 15-minute walk, but we had our luggage, so I wasn't trying to do all that. Um, so we got here, and even though our check-in time was, I think, 2.30, we got here at around 11 and we were able to get in no problems, very quick line, very easy process. Um, if you watch our video for Barcelona, it was not that at all. I think it took us maybe 20, 30 minutes to get on the boat. So it was wonderful. Um, got on the boat, explored a little bit. Our room wasn't ready, so we had to sit upstairs on the 12th floor and have lunch um, in their buffet. 
um, before we, were, but I mean, it literally took them maybe an hour. Our room was ready by like 1245 one. So we came, um, and we hung out in the room, got comfortable. And then we went back out to go over to, um, center city for the minstrels festival. The, the name has changed is now called Hollywood bets festival. Um, but it's basically a parade that celebrates New Year's on January 2nd, um, because that is when the slaves were allowed to celebrate New Year's. And so um, you saw a clip of that. Um, the bands were amazing. There was a lot of really great music and energy, not a lot of places to sit or eat or drink. So you had to come prepared um, to stand out there in the heat. Um, the people that came the day before had tents set up. So basically, so here's the street, right? Here's the street. And then there's going to be a row of tents with various families in them that are set up here all along this, the route. And that's the folks that you saw who arrived the day before on January 1st and started camping out from like almost 10 in the morning to secure a good spot for themselves. And so they had tents set up and then underneath their tents, these are big tents, um, they've got um, you know, chairs and coolers with food and water, et cetera. Like they've got a whole setup for themselves and their family, very well organized, um, setup. So, um, you will be standing behind that. <laughs> so I was able to find a spot like here where I caught the shade of a tent. I had visibility to the street and, you know, I had to film over the heads and shoulders of the people who were standing in this area. So that's, that's generally how it goes. Um, so after that, we left and we returned to the ship where we had um, dinner. And then we called it an early day because we'd been up since uh, 6 o'clock. So again, this ship is a lot um, smaller. And we noticed that it's not as empty. For example, the dining room is only one level. Um, there's no big mass of chandelier um, in the section where the guest services is the middle of the boat. Um, you don't have this beautiful drop view down several floors. Um, it's, I think it's two floors. <laughs> the chandeliers, I mean, the, the, feel, the ceilings feel low. Um, but yeah, the, it, the, the ship's just smaller and not, there aren't as many people on. So we'll, we'll see how crowded it gets once we depart tomorrow. So, okay, guys, that's it for today. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. Um, and we will see you next time on Honest Try TV. Thanks so much. Bye.